BBC News. The US and South Korea are to step up cooperation over the possible use of nuclear weapons in any conflict with North Korea. The deal will see US nuclear armed submarines dock in South Korea for the first time in 40 years. The Republican majority in the U.S. House of Representatives has voted to raise the government's national borrowing limit, $31 trillion, but only if the Biden administration introduces sweeping spending cuts. Republicans and Democrats have been warning of the prospect of the U.S. defaulting on its credit obligations if the dispute is not resolved. Renewed fighting between rival factions of the Sudanese military threatening a three-day ceasefire. Thousands of people are trying to leave Khartoum. Those who remain are struggling to get vital supplies. The American hip-hop artist Pras Michel has been convicted on ten charges relating to a foreign lobbying campaign by a Malaysian billionaire. Prosecutors said the Fuji's rapper also received money in exchange for advocating on behalf of Chinese officials. The Walt Disney Corporation has sued the Republican governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, seeking to overturn state efforts to exert control over its theme park in Orlando. The lawsuit comes in response to a decision to end agreements that gave Disney powers of self-government in the complex. Pope Francis will, for the first time, allow women to vote at a global meeting of Roman Catholic bishops in October. Five religious sisters will be granted voting rights. The assembly will consist mostly of several hundred male bishops. Argentina is to start paying for imports from China in Chinese yuan rather than in US dollars. The economy minister said the move would protect the country's international reserves. BBC News.